How's it going everybody? This is Carl at APSX and today we're going to show you how to swap molds on our APSX plastic injection machine. Let's get started today by powering up the machine and there is an order of operations doing this. First thing you want to do is plug the power in to a standard wall outlet. After plugging in the power, now is a good time to plug in the USB to the tablet. And you'll see standby on the tablet. You can now hit the system button and you'll see a green light turn on. That green light indicates that all the motors are engaged. And now we're just taking off the fan assembly cover. It's just two nuts. Set those aside. Next step is to remove the temperature sensor bolt on the bottom left part of the mold. Okay, with the system on, the fan assembly removed and the temperature sensor bolt removed, we can now hit engage clamp on the tablet, just one button. And once the two pieces of the, of the mold are together, we hit halt. Okay. Now in this position, we can begin loosening the mold claws. And once these are loose, they'll release off the mold and you want to slide these mold claws back in the most outer position, away from the mold. And then you can snug one bolt just to keep these away from the mold and securely in place so when you home when you home the mold these claws don't get caught on anything so that's pretty important again sliding the mold claws back just tighten one bolt Keep them securely in place. Okay. Okay, now we can hit home clamp on the tablet. And this is going to bring our entire mold to the right. And now we'll remove the right side mold claws. Again, sliding these claws back in their most outer position. And we will snug one bolt to keep them there. And on this last set of claws, I like to have my hand underneath the mold when I remove it. This way, it doesn't drop and hit the ground. And there you have it. We've removed our old mold. Before installing the new mold, one important topic I'd like to talk about is the clamp home switch. 
And this clamp home switch is important to set the location before installing a new mold. And depending on the size of your mold, you might have it more to the left or more back. It just depends on what you're working with. And there's a safe location that you wanna set this clamp home switch. This is just an Allen key to loosen it. And see, it'll slide right and left. And the safe location has to do with the ejector bearing right here which allows you to run the machine on multi-mode. So if you're making multiple parts and you just want to press one button and have the machine continuously make parts over and over again, this ejector bearing works with your mold design and it will push the parts out. And the safe location is somewhere right in the middle of block three here. And you don't want the ejector bearing to come through all the way through block three and hit the mold and push it while you're homing the clamp. So that's what this switch location is for. So while the end of the ejector bearing is in the middle of block three, I'm just going to slide this over until I see on the tablet on the bottom of the screen, there's a checkbox and you'll see that checkbox light. And now in that location, we can tighten this And it's important to have this groove on the clamp switch level to the ground when you're tightening it because there's a sensor that communicates with this magnet. If you spun this around and had this sensor on the top, then it's not going to stop your clamp from moving to the right while you're homing it and you can damage the mold. So that's pretty important. Now that we have this clamp home switch set, we can install our new mold right here. And the first thing we want to look for is the mold temperature hole. Again, it's going to be on the bottom left. And we'll slide it in the same way we took it out, keeping our hand underneath. So before fastening the mold claws, you do want to make sure that the top of the mold and this block are level. And the reason we do that is because there's a hole here where the nozzle will inject plastic. We want that hole to align in the correct spot. So we'll make sure that's flush. And then there are grooves on the mold. You want to push the claws all the way into these grooves before tightening the bolts. again from this angle so you can see I'm making sure that the mold claws go into the groove on the mold and then we'll tighten them in that position. Now with the new mold secured to the right, now we can engage the clamp again. Hit halt. And now we'll do the left side mold clause. Again, making sure that the claws go into the groove on the mold before tightening them.
That looks pretty good right there. Now we can hit home clamp on the tablet to open your new mold. We're almost ready to start injecting plastic. We just have a couple more things. First, the fan assembly cover. And that's just two nuts. Finger tight is okay. And finally, the temperature sensor bolt on the bottom left of the mold. Okay, close the front door. Now we're ready to heat our machine and we will start molding very soon. Just one button on the tablet and we'll see on the heat button there's a green light that turns on. Okay now our machine is up to the correct temperature 220 celsius and we are ready to start making plastic parts. Uh, first thing we would do is open our mold file and you can open your different mold files using these plus or minus buttons and the open button on the top of the tablet. So this is mold one file, we'll hit open. And now all our injecting parameters are shown on the tablet right here to the right. And we'll go more into detail into the inject injecting parameters in another video for you guys. Um, so, that's it. We're ready to start making parts. Let's press run once on the tablet. And this will start the injection cycle. So the first thing the machine will do is clamp. And now we're going to inject plastic. And there's a holding stage after you've injected the plastic. Now the valve closes and we begin the cooling stage and homing stage. This just takes a couple more seconds. And there you have it. There's our part for you guys to see. And that's it. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Um, we hope to have more educational videos for you all coming very soon. So keep on watching and feel free to like and comment in the comments section below and see you guys next time.